Hey guys, Robbie here from CrossFit South Bend. Today I'm here with Andrew, and we are going to be talking about Andrew and food. And this is actually going to be the first in a coach series about you know how coaches deal with nutrition and eating and all the rest of this stuff. By the way, rocking the Andrew Signature Series shirt. It's shameless plug. It's got a sword on the back. How many shirts you know with a sword on the back? Cop it if you don't have it yet. All right, so. What are we going to talk about today? So first thing I want to talk about is what was food like before you growing up? Food for me growing up, I'm thinking my mom did most of the cooking around the house and she cooked pretty well because she actually has celiac disease. So she was gluten free for the most part. But that does not mean that when I came home in middle school, I didn't throw like eight chicken breasts from Tyson in the oven every day. So there was definitely that mixture of pretty healthy when she was cooking, but then you know, there was plenty of the, the fried foods and Chick-fil-A all the time. Okay, so what what's food like for you now? So you're a college student, um, about to graduate. Give us like a typical breakfast, lunch, dinner. Yeah, and this is something I'm kind of working through. This year, the school year is actually the first that I was preparing my meals and kind of figuring that out for myself. So right now, what my typical breakfast looks like is I'll just cook some eggs, and I'll have some toast with some jelly, and i get some carbs in there. Um, and that's typically about it, and then a big old thing of coffee. Um, if I'm pressed for time, I'll do like some kind of shake, um, just with Greek yogurt, protein, and then throw some fruit in there. Um, but that's typically all I'm working with in the morning, um, and I kind of have to force myself sometimes. Okay, how about lunch and dinner? Lunch and dinner, um, shamelessly, it is chicken and rice all day, every day. And <laughs> I'm about as sick of that right now as I possibly could be. Um, but I do a lot of Crock-Pot chicken. I'm a terrible cook, as you can probably tell from me saying this, uh, but lots of shredded chicken, rice, um, and trying to figure out how to how to do some other stuff. Okay, so we have a lot of college students here. You know, you've been through the ringer living on campus and being off campus. Talk about some stuff you've run into, some things you've learned. Like, is it even possible to eat somewhat clean in dining halls and things like that? And yeah. I think a lot of it is the social pressures around it and just what is the norm. Now, us CrossFitters, we're probably not fitting into the norm most anyway, um, but when you're around people, it's a lot of alcohol and a lot of just bad eating. It's late night pizza, it's just the norm. Um, so that's what the biggest challenge is for me is kind of drawing that line and saying, I have to do things differently so I don't fall into that. Um, but it certainly is possible, and if you're eating dining hall, you eat like cattle. It's like anything you need, just go and it's fuel. None of it tastes good. So I just had the healthy stuff. Um, and obviously they're not always cooking it in the healthiest ways, but you can still get your rice, your chicken, your veggies. And it's actually quite easy in the dining hall setting. Um, once you move off as, as I did and kind of got off the meal plan, got a little bit tougher because I'm starting to prepare. And so, and that's kind of what I mentioned working through is you know, preparing with my Tupperware and having my shredded chicken and having my rice and, you know, my broccoli whenever I can. Uh, but it just takes a little bit more preparation once you get away from that meal plan kind of setup. Okay. So uh, tell us a bit about nutritional off-roading. So some of your, your favorite, you know, what are your like top three favorite, like, I don't care about health, I don't care about nutrition, <laughs> I just want to have a Caracas milkshake or what, what have you. So I... No matter how tough the diet I'm following, I can't say no to Chick Fil A. Like that is my that is my thing. That's pretty good. And I've just recently been able to make the switch to grilled sandwiches, and that is a huge thing for me. So if there is an excuse to eat Chick Fil A, I'm there, and it, it just goes down well with sweet tea, and it's just a bomb. <laughs> so that's like just let it go, um, do that, and then. If I can, you know, stay away from the Chick-fil-A and then if I'm going like the candy route, I'm all about any kind of sour gummies. And yeah. that's just like, that's tough. <laughs> that is that is temptation. That is temptation. Have you ever had the, uh, not that I've ever had them, of course, but have you ever <laughs> had the chocolate chip cookies at Chick-fil-A? Oh, they're incredible. They're incredible. They Fantastic. come in bags of six. Yes. Yes, yes they are. It's <laughs> a mistake. <laughs> How about any, uh, how about any like food holidays, special, you know, things with your family these days, anything like Thanksgiving, any famous, you know, any things that your mom cooks or anything like that that you really enjoy? Uh, favorite thing about going home is having a nice grill that I kind of work on. So I do a lot of grilled meats. Um, chicken thighs are like my favorite thing ever. Um, so I eat a lot of grilled chicken thighs, um, and do any kind of veggies with those. But probably my favorite thing that my mom's met, my mom makes 
um, whenever I go home is like these zucchini boats that she does. So she hollows out the zucchini, mixes, puts it in a food processor with cauliflower and ground beef or turkey, mixes that all up in there, throws it back in the zucchini and then bakes it. And it's my favorite thing. That's so really good. on a good day, we've got that going and I'll eat on that, you know, whenever I'm home. So that's like, that's a good day. That sounds pretty awesome. So, uh, you know, one of the things we want to do with this series is try to help give people advice about you know how to how to deal with different struggles that they've been through uh, with food and you know especially in your case with with college if you were talking to someone i don't know maybe coming in 28 fall 2018 to notre dame mm -hmm. and you know it, it it's obviously not going to be completely whole 30 it's not even going to be close to that for the most part but just like little things you could do uh, or they could do to kind of help keep them healthy what advice would you give to like an incoming freshman yeah. uh, to stay healthy most of the time, just plan. Plan out your meals and know that there are going to be times when you want to go get pizza with your best friends. Like, And I would encourage you, go do that. That's an experience. But it's just planning that. And if you can have a good meal, have a good meal. Um, so it's just kind of taking those opportunities when, you know, if it's not a big deal, like there's no reason for you not to be eating what you should. Um, so it's just making sure you put parameters around that um, so that you're not just kind of saying – you know, say lobby at all times. Um, and, and that's something that I work on too, is just making sure it's like, okay, well, if I'm going to go get pizza on Wednesday night, that means I better be crisp the rest of the week. Yeah. Um, and, and that's sometimes the struggle. Gotcha. Well, I think that's good advice. And that's one of the things we talk about in our nutrition coaching program is like, you know, not every day is a special occasion. Yes. Yeah. So it's just kind of finding those ones that are legit special occasions and then enjoying yourself. All right, guys, so uh, first in the series here of uh, nutrition coaching videos, just want to give you guys a sense of what the coaches do here. Again, it's got a sword on the back. If you don't have the shirt yet, go get it. Andrew, thank you so much for joining us today. Yes. Appreciate it. Thank you, Guys, Robert. thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.